Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Today I've got a beer from UFO and it is a can of their Hefeweizen. It's described as a refreshing, smooth and light bodied. This bad boy is coming in at what? 4.8% ABV. UFO are part of the um, brewing company that also own Harpoon and Clown Shoes. And this came in my latest beer 52 pack, which I have been enjoying. All beers from Boston. Um, I like most things from Harpoon and most things from Clown Shoes. So, um, yeah, looking forward to getting stuck into this one. Um, yeah, so Hefeweizen. Ingredients, water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops, yeast. Doesn't say much more than that. Uh, brewed and packaged by Harpoon Brewery, Boston, Massachusetts. It's nice and cold. Let's get it out of the can, into the glass, as if cans from these breweries they're all 355 mil cans so slightly bigger than our 330 mil cans that we get over here which is nice i'm not going to get all of that in there i don't think i will it's developing a head on it so there is the ufo hefeweizen really hazy one finger, white head on this one. Not crazy amounts of carbonation on it. I'm not sure if you can make out the bottom of the glass. A few bubbles rising up on that one. If the camera's picking that up, I hope it is. But I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, looks nice. Looks very appealing. Let's get an aroma. Not much of an aroma. I can't smell anything. Okay, let's get a taste. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Ah. Doesn't really taste it much either. Um, slight bit of uh, citrus sweetness on the taste. Very minimal carbonation levels on this one. Um, nice and light, nice and refreshing. Yeah, um, really light, really refreshing. No hoppiness to this at all. Um, a very subtle citrus sweetness um, initially. It tastes like there's a slight bit of kind of clovey, coriandery type flavour in there as well. It, it, it tastes like a, a very light kind of wheat beer. Hefeweizen. Is a Hefeweizen even a wheat beer? Am I going mad? Am I having a moment here? Hefeweizen. This is a German style beer brewing, isn't it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, slight bit of citrus. Slight bit of that sort of coriander and clove kind of flavour to it. Very Again, very subtle. No hoppiness to it. No bitterness. Really refreshing though. Really drinkable. Um, yeah, there's not really much to report home with this one, but I like it. Um, <laughs> it's a really warm day out there. It's about 27 out there at the moment. It's really warm. Um, and this was exactly what I needed. Got it from work, jumped in the shower, came downstairs, Grab a beer. This one's been sitting there for a few days. Thought I'd get it down me. Yeah, there's no real flavour to it. It's like I say, there's a slight bit of citrusy sweetness on it. Slight um, clovey, coriandery kind of uh, 
flavour in there, but nothing much. Really smooth, really drinkable, no hoppiness to it whatsoever. Simple. UFO Hefeweizen. Give it a score. Um, it's refreshing. Excuse me. Um, but not a lot else, really. Uh, I'll give that a score. This is not unpleasant. It's actually quite nice. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm going to wolf that down. That's, I mean, it's practically gone. Um, but it's not amazing. So uh, I'll give it a 6. A 6 out of 10 for UFO's Hefeweizen. If this is your style of beer, you might love this one. You might, I might, you know, I could probably recommend it. It's, it's great for that in that sense. But um, yeah, I like a bit more complexity and a bit more flavour or something like that, you know. But it's very refreshing. Very refreshing. I'll give it that. But I'll give it a good 6 out of 10. So 6 out of 10 for UFO, Hefeweizen. Give the video a thumbs up. Keep subscribing, guys. I do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.